Uh, let's go to the phones. Uh, friend of the show, Andy Biggs. Andy, good morning, sir. How are you? Chris, good. How are you doing? We're living the we're living the darn dream here, Andrew. Is what's going on? We're living the dream. So, tell this us just on darn. Okay. T- <laughs> tell us about the uh, <laughs> tell us about the nightmare that's Washington D.C. Uh, I hear uh, Title Forty Two might be going away. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is kind of crazy <laughs> stuff, but um, the Title 42 is probably going away. We we actually, we finally, there was a sighting of Secretary Mayorkas. He actually came to the Border Security Caucus. Look at him. And Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so we, but but it, was, it had to be off the record. But the, the bottom line is they have no plan for what to do after Title 42. Mayorkas doesn't believe he can actually ask the president not to get away with, uh, with Title 42 because that's a CDC decision in his mind. The deal is, you're going to just have this cascade of bad stuff happen because of that. So right now, you have about half the people that are turned away, uh, or that, that we encounter, are turned away because of Title 42. So imagine that we're not turning away that half, uh, which, is, uh, which is a lot of people. And then uh, when the cartels realize it, which they already do, they're going to uh, recruit more folks to come on over, and you're going to see drugs go crazy. Uh, you know, terrorism is going to keep coming through at a higher rate, uh, uh, violent criminals. Uh, we, we won't, we're just going to be releasing people into the country in, in, in such a high amount, high number that will make the catastrophe we've suffered for the last 15 months look uh, like child's play. The, um, so it's interesting, right? So, and even, I, I guess, so we're going to, Title 42 is going away, but we still have uh, Americans trapped on airplanes that have never been a hot spot for anything still wearing masks i just want to make sure we're we're staying consistent here in the biden uh, cabal yeah oh yeah no no that's that's exactly right you're 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 being consistent with their inconsistency and hypocrisy so. <laughs> that's it <laughs> so i guess the question is what in the end there's you know the some some of these states are fighting back i see uh, governor abbott is Shipping immigrants to D.C. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can 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 we do that in Arizona? I think that'd be kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, and we're going to need to. And here's why we're going to need to. Already, uh, the reports are that Biden is releasing fewer people into the Texas sectors, and which means <laughs> that they're going to move them over somewhere else. They're going to move them over to Arizona and then release them there because. By uh, uh, Abbott's doing that, and and by the way, he's not forcing anybody to get on those buses. He just said, "Let's you want to go to D.C., hop in, we're going," and taking them over there. I also like is it DeSantis shipping them into Delaware? I thought that was <laughs> <laughs> Delaware. Yeah, and you need to be sitting to, to Martha's Vineyard. How about the Bay Area? <laughs> so that way, it's a that's a two for you're going to get Swalwell and Pelosi. Uh, going to get the experience. I mean, I think Adam Schiff's probably around that area too. So you can you can get all those folks up there to. It's like a triple. It's the, like a, it's like a, it's like a trifecta of immigrant uh, shipping, as we like to say. So, and yeah. Then we have even more chaos. Of I just saw the story this morning that I have Ukrainians waiting in Tijuana to come into America. How is that happening? I mean, well, well. Here's the deal. Um, uh, the the report that we're getting uh, that I got last week is that Ukrainians are coming in. They don't have to pay the cartels. The cartels are not going to charge Ukrainians money. The reason being is the cartels are businessmen and uh, business women. Let's let's give them their due. Uh, and they're 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 bad guys, and they don't want additional attention brought upon them. So they're going to let Ukrainians come. They'll facilitate that. And then so Ukrainians are going to come, come in. We're not sure right now how they're moving into Mexico um, and uh, from from the Ukraine and, and and the area over there, but somehow they're getting there. And I'm going to be down in that area today, and I'll uh, hopefully we'll get some information. Yeah, that was the story. It was in the it was in the Republic today by uh, Rafael Carranza, and I'm still trying to I'm still trying to figure out from the story. You know what? What? What's the route that they're taking to get to end up in Tijuana? Where I figure there's got to be ways they can just come come to a. I guess maybe it's. I guess it's easier to go to Mexico and then come that way. I guess maybe. I don't know. It's maybe a, I. I mean I. I don't know. It's, that's that's what I got to get to the bottom of because 
Um, we had been hearing reports that uh, cartels were facilitating movement of Ukrainians um, to our border and across, but I have not seen too much of that um, from the from the online uh, at the at the border guys. So I saw that a uh, scrappy congressman from uh, Arizona s- tried to subpoena the Hunter Biden laptop. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Um, so the way to think about this, Chris, is, Please. is uh, yeah, we're talking about in that in that particular hearing, we're talking about how we should be uh, switching all of the uh, vehicles of the United States Postal Service over to electric vehicles. So that's a lot of that's a lot of vehicles, and 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 so the thought that we had was, look, uh, you, you need cobalt for batteries and electric vehicles and stuff, and Hunter Biden facilitated a three point eight billion dollar deal on cobalt mining with the, with the Chinese Communist Party. So it just seemed natural to me that he must be an expert on cobalt and and providing <laughs> critical minerals for, for electric vehicles so we should be subpoenaing him and, uh, hunter biden in so we could visit with him but the democrats didn't want to do that so <laughs> tell me about just refresh everyone's mind about the bidens and ukraine <laughs> just just give, give give us give us There's the so andy biggs <laughs> There's there's too much to, to okay. So I will right. give you give me a snapshot. Two, two, yeah, two quick things. There's just so much there with Ukraine. Uh, but first of all, is you have uh, uh, the the Obama Biden team were backing a, 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 a corrupt leader in Ukraine, and there was a prosecutor who was investigating that corrupt leader, and Biden went over and told him, um, "We're not going to give you your bill, billion dollars of aid." Unless that prosecutor is removed, now think about that. That's just, that's so. There's a whole lot more to that story, but the fact is, uh, we uh, by Joe Biden went over and held him hostage, and then he came out and bragged about it. Um, and and Ukraine was the most corrupt country on the planet, and they were trying to investigate it, and we stopped it. The second thing, of course, is that Hunter Hunter Biden, uh, being an expert on on everything. Uh, was appointed to, uh, 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 mysteriously kind of, uh, the board of Burisma, which is a Ukrainian natural gas company. Now, there's a guy, and he was paid $80,000 a month to be uh, sit on that board, um, which incidentally was being investigated by that same prosecutor that Joe Biden <laughs> had uh, had removed. So just think about that. Just just kind of fun, that stuff. Some fun, some fun facts. Um, and uh, we can't seem to get to the bottom of any of that stuff. They Somehow the DOJ can find every uh, person who ever thought of being in the Capitol on January 6th, but they can't Correct. find out anything about Hunter Biden. So quid pro quos are a bad thing. We learned two or three years ago, so what's the deal? <laughs> <laughs> they're not anymore? or Well, they're, 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 <laughs> quid, pro, quid pro quo is only a bad thing if you're a conservative. If you're a Democrat and you're making money on it, uh, that's a good thing. Okay, come on, <laughs> you're just you're just working with the system, Pro- as we like to say, public-private partnership. When it's a Democrat, oh yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly, unbelievable. I, I do love this picture on your Twitter page of Joe with the sunglasses, <laughs> with the with the Nick Maduro uh, sash. <laughs> Well, it's reflect it's reflective of all the bad things that are happening. We've got we've got uh, authoritarian <laughs> government with high inflation. People are people are, are uh, you know the reports are that people are now uh, rationing their toothpaste for Pete's sakes um, in America because uh, prices are too high. I I'm over in California today, getting ready to go to the border. Gas is seven bucks a gallon here, and you know. <laughs> You've you got a real resemblance to uh, Venezuela, uh, the nascent uh, uh, beginnings uh, of, of Venezuelization, I guess, of, of the United States of America. The uh, I will tell you that the uh, again we we kept on saying on the show it, it's, it's like being it's like during World War II like we didn't have cabbage because of the war right we always these various things your grandparents would tell you right now we can have baby formula have you seen that's the new. Yes, the new right. shortage is baby formula. Yeah, they're being rationed, being rationed in uh, some of the 
some of the stores that sell uh, a baby formula. I mean, how absurd has this become? And uh, another piece, good piece out today saying how, how the Biden team is, is making both the inflation and the supply chain worse. So these guys, you know, but you got Pete Buttigieg of, uh, hey, if, if, you, if you don't want to pay the high gas prices, just go buy an electric vehicle. But then we got to get back into that Hunter Biden cobalt mine stuff again, you know, if we're going to go electric vehicles like that. Let them eat cobalt, as I think someone once said in the old days. Um, uh, our friend Bruce Ash wants to know, ask Andy about the lawsuit in process to disqualify you from running in the 22 election. What's going on with that? Well, this is a uh, a frivolous lawsuit. It's it's like an, what we used to call a slap lawsuit, where you where you punish people for speaking out where you bring lawsuits against people who are participating in po- politics. Here's what they're doing. They filed lawsuits against three guys in Wisconsin, uh, three guys in Arizona, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Madison Cawthorn. They, they've said, they actually said in the New York Times piece that they're just looking for one. I mean, it's kind of like the old Jack in the Box commercial where the guy's got a sign and, and Jack says, how much is it? He says, it's a million dollars. And he says, well, he sold them. He says, no, but I only have to sell one. That's what these guys' theory is: is that you you just they're going to find some crazy left wing judge uh, who misinterprets the Fourteenth Amendment and tries to throw somebody off, and then then you go forward. It's designed to make people like me uh, look bad to the left wing media, and if they can possibly help it, they get me tossed out. But it's a, it's a frivolous lawsuit. We uh, uh, we think you know it's in process right now. It's going on and. Uh, um, and I, I, it has to go pretty quickly because they filed it under the 10-day statute uh, to review um, petition signatures, which is kind of odd to me. But but nonetheless, that's where they filed it. And uh, so specifically, uh, what, what what what's going on on the border today? Um, well, there's a you know you got to see what's going on in California, and then and and then you just keep moving moving east along the border. And, and you'll, we've got a bunch of folks coming in uh, from Congress and, and other places to, to look at it and visit with uh, with folks who live along the border, officials who manage the border or try to manage the border, and and uh, it's a, it's kind of a fact finding tour that you know I I tell people all the time the reason I bring folks to to the border and you've been with me, Chris, and you know this. You can't believe how bad it is until you actually physically see it. Yeah. Um, I was telling I was telling a member of Congress Saturday, hey, they said, well, what are you going to see? I said, well, we're going to stand at the border, and we're going to watch people illegally cross the border. And she said, what do you mean? I said, no, they're going to walk right by me. I said, we're going to videotape me standing in front of them as they're walking back and forth. And, and, they're gonna, and the Border Patrol is going to take them over. They're going to process them and release them into the United States. You can't believe it's happening like that until you actually see it. Yeah, I mean, it's like uh, I've seen you've seen these videos now. It's like a, it's like a joke, right? You just like like I remember it was uh, Luis, the guy running against Grijalva. He's r- walking along the Yuma thing, and there's literally like a hundred people just walk across the big hole in the fence. And you're like, w- w- what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. You, you can't believe it. You cannot believe it. <sighs> well, also, and also, all the Americans are going to Tijuana to fill their gas tanks up. So you got that going on too while you're down there. So. Well, we'll probably head over there. <laughs> Andy Biggs, thanks for thanks for the the conversation as always. Uh, stay safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, thanks, guys. All right, later.